Hello folks! Um, today I'm just kind of doing a bit of a stupid video. Basically I have recently bought myself a, a new guitar amp and um, I thought I would do a quick little video to show the differences between my old one and this new one. So the old one is uh, just like a shitty old solid state Marshall amp and the new one is a, a 12 watt Hughes and Kettner amp and that one's a valve and um, I've never actually owned a valve amp before until now so I thought what I would do is do a quick little comparison between the two because what I've really been after with an amp lately especially since getting this thing is an amp that can give me a variety of tone and I've found that the issue with the Marshall is that you can twist all the knobs in many different positions and you don't really get much tone out of it whereas with the Hughes and Kettner you get a bit more out of it so I thought I'd do a quick video to show differences and, you know, see if you can really tell the difference at all. So, here we go. Next, uh, we will switch to the Hughes and Kettner. On we go, and it has this nice little blue light that comes on, which <laughs> even that alone makes it stand out. See, even that is just like, just turning the gain down ever so slightly, you can just already tell a difference. I will have a proper like play around with all the dials and stuff, but for now, this is the little, just have a little strum. Yeah, that, it sounds cool. Right, so what I'll do now is I will, uh, well, first of all, we'll go with a bit of distortion. Uh, there we go. So, and I'll turn the master down again, because bloody hell. I mean, even, even that, just the amount, you can drive this thing so hard, like, I've got it on about the same notch as uh, the Marshall amp, and just the slightest twist just gives it all the difference. Whereas with that, you've got to twist it a fair bit before you notice any difference.
me current thoughts just on playing those two amps alone. So for me, I found that with the Marshall, it always sounded quite muffled. And it's become a lot more apparent now that I've got a, a new amp. The, that one just sounds so much clearer and when you play them side by side you can really hear the difference at least for me you can just the slightest twist on the thing on the on the little dial thing and it's just you get so such a different sound out of it so what I'll do is I'll have a play around with some of the dials and um, see if I can get a bit, bit of a different tone out of it just to show how much clarity you get out of one amp compared to the other <laughs> and then we'll switch to the Marshall. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, in a nutshell, I think, uh, I think the Heisen Kettner wins, it doesn't hold, that Marshall does not hold a candle to what I've dropped about 500 quid on, and, um, you know, I've never used valves until recently, and I, I honestly don't think I could go any other way now, <laughs> um, I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with, the. Uh, with the new amp, and you know, I'm gonna. It, it's because I paid a lot of money for this guitar, and unfortunately, the amp that I was using didn't really get the most out of this guitar, and so I feel like the Hughes and Kettner finally does this guitar justice, and I couldn't be happier. Sorry if this was a bit all over the place, sorry if this was a bit of a rambly video. This was just kind of a spur of the moment. I wanted to try and like get a comparison of the two. Um, I don't know if any of you can tell if, if there's a difference, I I certainly can notice a difference, but I don't know how it works for anyone who's, who's maybe not into music as much as I am, or, or even, even people who are. If you can tell a difference, let me know, and um, if you are a musician or a guitarist, let me know what your 
setup is like and um, yeah let me know what you got and what sort of guitars you use and what amps and whatnot. Um, one thing I want to try and do at some point is get like a pedal board going and really like get a lot more sort of different tones, different sounds out of it. Really sort of find out what works for me. Um, but for now I am going to carry on playing with my amp and enjoy life. So thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more whenever that happens. Bye bye!